what is up guys and welcome back to my channel today is a very exciting day i'm about to climb snow <laughs> the excitement is real i am going to climb mount snowden in wales and yeah i'll let you know how it goes i'm just about to get the sherpa bus and hopefully getting some views from there i've heard that parking is a nightmare so bus it is um yeah bring you along to the journey so here is me on the Sherpa bus. I went from Better Sequoid when my BNB was two penny pass and the return ticket cost me five pounds. I wanted to get the earlier bus, however it was full, well COVID full, so there was space and they just wouldn't let me on and unfortunately it, they don't come very frequently so I had to wait an hour for the next bus. So this is the pig track that I will be starting on and then heading to Crib Gok. Let's begin the journey. Are you ready? Are you steady? Always good to look at the weather. I like that they have signs like this. Be prepared, guys. I did write a blog post about this. So if everything you need to know about Crib Lock is all on there. Okay, let's just take in the view from the pig truck already. Absolutely stunning. Isn't Snowdonia just absolutely beautiful? So this is where I head to Crib Gok. I had no idea what I was getting into when I <laughs> decided that I wanted to do Crib Clock and I luckily found an experienced mountain climber who kindly came along with me. This is John. Um, <laughs> very kind of him. He was actually staying at my B&B. &B. Um, the views, just look at the views. Absolutely gorgeous. And now we have my GoPro footage. Now, sorry, the, the quality is quite poor. Do apologise. It is a five-year-old GoPro, but I hope to give you a real insight of what it is really like and how dangerous this can be if you are not an experienced mountain climber. I wouldn't advise this track for novice walkers or if you have a fear of heights. So this is where the fun happens. This is the ridge <laughs> and I love heights. I found this incredibly thrilling but as you can see the drop on either side is pretty fatal if I'm perfectly honest there are they have been some disasters on the mountain people don't know what they're getting into so I hope that I give you real-time footage of what it was like to scramble up uh, a grade one scramble on Mount Snowden so without further ado here is my footage of me climbing with some music
So here we have the summit marker point and that is the top of the summit where someone has taken their picture. I don't know what of because this is the current view. It is a complete whiteout. <laughs> I can't see a thing. I legit just took a photo of me pointing to the summit instead of waiting in this queue which I was told was a 45 minute wait. So I didn't bother. So I decided to head back down the pig track. I thought I'd show you this is where the pig track and the miners track join together. So if you go down the miners track, you head down by the lake and then follow the lake around. This is where I just was at. That's crib lock up there. <laughs> what an achievement. And this is the route back to the start at Penny Pass. As you can see, there is a white um, house looking building straight in front of you. That is a youth hostel that you can stay in. So how convenient is that? You just rock up, roll out of bed and climb Snowdon. I didn't realise how much I am swinging my arms here as my camera is attached to my chest. But this is back at the start. As you can see, the car park is tiny. But what an achievement and so glad I did it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and all the information about Cribblock I have put in a blog post which I shall put in the description.